guys learning with rich here in this video we are now going to wrap up our discussion about the steel brace frames okay so on last video we have learned how to add brace frame gussets so this time around for this quick uh, video i'm going to show you first how to edit the plan view symbology for the brace just a quick one and then after that i'm going to teach you how to create a uh, brace frame sheet okay so let's move to our exercise so what i'm gonna do is going to my level two so you will notice here you have a couple of line here so this one and then this one here this is actually a brace so if i'm going to click that you go to the property that is actually the brace frame that we created last time all right so in the uh, upper view on our level 2 so this is how it looks like so if I'm going to level 3 so this is how it looks like right so let me just drag first this uh, frame, brace frame elevation away okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to change the symbology of your brace frame on the plan view okay so on level 2 it looks like this and level 3 it looks like this Okay, so basically in the 3D view, if you still remember, this is how we did that, right? Now, going back to level 2, what I'm going to do to change the symbology of the plan view or the brace frame. So what you can do is you just need to go to the structure and then you go to the settings here, structural settings. So you click that and then after that, you just need to, uh, let's say on the symbolic representation settings, so what you can do is you can change the planned representation. So instead of a parallel line, so you click the drop down arrow and then you can actually change that with line with angle. Okay, so you just need to click that. And then here, the show brace above. So this is now how the symbols, the symbol we're going to show. And then this uh, show brace below. So this is how the symbol show. Okay, and then there's a kicker brace symbol. Okay, so that's all. So you can actually change here some uh, options on the load cases. I'm not going to discuss this one. Okay, so you can go check this one out because in my case, I don't actually use this one. Okay, so I just go here and then you can change the brace symbol here. Okay, so let's select now OK. And there you go, you see? So if I go to level 3, so this is how it looks like. All right? So that's how you modify the the plan view symbology for your brace frame. Okay? Now, the next thing that we are going to do after we create our brace, after we create the gazette, if you still remember, we created this gazette here last time using... Uh, in place family so now i'm going to teach you how to create a sheet so we are going to put details of our brace inside the sheet okay so let me just go first to the brace frame elevation that we created last time all right and then after that i'm going to create a call out here so let's say i want to have a detailed view for this portion this frame uh this frame sorry so what i'm going to do is go into the view tab I'm going to create a call out first. So it creates a rectangular call out in the view. So usually we use this for detailing. So I'm going to use rectangle here. So just click that. So I'm going to pick from here. And then I'm going to pick from here. There you go. All right. So the reason there is no detail here on our call out bubble is that the view created on this call out is not yet inserted inside the sheet okay so that's why it's empty but later on you will be able to see that uh, after we place the call out that we created it will populate the details here okay so now hover up your pointer it says that the name is brace frame elevation call out one okay views elevation brace frame elevation call out one which is this one Okay. Okay, and then you can actually change this detail or the name. So let's say I'm gonna right click that and then rename and then let's change this one. So let's say this is my 
brace, uh, frame, call out. Enter. And then let's open up this one. Let's double click. And there you have it. Okay, so this is now your call out view. Of course, you can change here the scale if you want. So let's say I'm going to change this to uh, one inch to one foot. Oh, I think it's too big. Okay, so how about half inch? Okay, so half inch to one foot. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so that's now our brace frame call out. And then we can actually create a separate call out in our call out. Okay, so same procedure. So you just need to go to the view. Let's create a call out here. Call out. So let's say I'm going to create a call out to this portion here. Okay, you can click the call out. You see the three dots there. You can actually drag that. You can bend that like that. You can stretch that out. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so there's my first call out. And that's the call out that we just created. So let me create another call out. So let's say for this one, I want to create another one here. Okay, I want to create another one here. There you go. So I just need to tidy up that. Okay, something like that. Okay, again, you will notice the callout bubble is empty because these callouts that we have created, this, all of these callouts here is not yet inserted inside our uh, properties. Okay, right. Okay, so let's do this. So let us now insert this inside the sheet. So let us create first a sheet. So go to the uh, sheets here. So there's the sheets. So just right click that new sheet okay and then there's the title block so we will be using this default title block here and then i'm going to select your okay there you go so here's now our title block okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is to drag inside this uh, views that we created so let's say this brace frame call out i'm going to drag that and then i'm gonna put it here okay so this is my call out one i can put it on here call out two then call out three call out four Okay, so something like that. So again, if you want to change the scale of this, so then no problem, just need to select that, go to properties here, and then you can change the scale here. So let's say three fourths, so you will notice it will change. Okay, so let's say I select that, change the view scale, three fourths, see? Right? Okay. Now, for this one, if you want to uh, move your title bar separately, like, for example, you want to move this up, so you need to select that separately. So click that, and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard, or you can just drag that, okay? Now, if you want to move your uh, view, okay, you can click that, and then it will also move the callout name there. Okay, so if you want to resize the line here, you click the view, and then you will see that node, and then you'll be able to resize that. Okay, this one you need to click separately. You click, then you can change. Click, resize, but I drag here. There we go. Okay, so it's up to you. You can just arrange this simple exercise. The fourth of an inch. There we go.
Okay, so let's say for example you want to insert also the 3D view. So what you can do is um, you can go to the 3D view here. Go to the 3D view and then um, you can select. Okay, select this brace. And then you go to the selection box here. This one, you click that. There you go. So there's the one, so you can duplicate that. Duplicate, and then you can change the name. So for example, this is your uh, brace frame. There you go. And then you go again to your sheet here, and then you drag the brace frame. Okay, change the scale. one inch to one foot and let me just move this up this up Oops. okay there you go all right so basically that's how you create a sheet that's how you change the symbology of your uh, plan view for the brace. And then that's how you create a call out view. All right. So if I go to the uh, brace frame call out, you will now notice that it's now populated. You see the call out bubble. So it's now populated. So meaning to say this is a detail number three. And then you can see that on sheet S.1. So you just check the project browser look for sheet s.1 i oops just double this uh rename this one sorry okay oops so brace frame all right so just double click that so that's our s.1 sheet and then this is the detail number three so meaning this is that one okay oops so there you go, right? So hopefully you learned something for this video. That's all the topic for our steel brace frame. So on our next topic, we're going to talk about stairs, ramps, and slopes. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.